Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. If you're new here, my name is Onida. I wasn't expecting to do another one of these videos for like another few months or so, but I was a little naughty this month. And there were quite a few books that were on special that I know I've been wanting to read for quite some time and I thought, hey, screw it, just buy it. And I have enough books here to have another book haul. So, yes, February, the shortest month in the year, I realised a few weeks ago. And I have, look, I'm just going to take a while to guess and say I have about 10 books here. Probably more. I, I actually do think it is more. But let's get started. The first book that I have bought is... Black Prism by Brent Weeks. It's the first book in the Lightbringer series. It's it's an epic fantasy, if memory serves me correctly. It's been a while since I've heard anyone talk about this book series. But from what I understand, it's a magic system that is rooted in colours. So people that control the colour green or something like that control their control that color specific abilities if i believe and only and i think people that can wield those types of powers can only do one color but there are people out there at least one or two i don't know how many people that can do all five colors if memory serves me correctly and i think the magic system is where if like the more you use the powers and the longer you use those powers, the quicker you die or something like that. It, it was very intriguing. So that's why I bought it and I'm hoping to read it. Actually, a lot of these books on here I'm hoping to be reading in the next like couple of years or so. I do have a... I am, I am working on another video. It's about like future series I want to read and um, that book Black Prism like the Light to Bring a series is in that video that I'm planning on doing and the next one is quite a popular one that I have and it won't be my first Sarah J Mass book that I'm going to be diving into but I am going to be diving into her books this year for a bit of a challenge video idea that I have and that will be happening in April. I won't tell you about it yet. This is a different series of hers. And it's, like I said, it's a popular one. And a and the new book in the series was recently published, was recently released about last week. No, this week. It was this week it came out, I'm pretty sure, if memory serves me correctly. And the book I'm talking about is A Court of Thorns and Roses. The first book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Mass. People say that if you enjoyed Jennifer L. Armentrout's Blood and Ash series, and I just finished the last one, sorry, the second one last night, and I, it, it's my new obsession, that series, I love it so much. And I heard that if you enjoy Jennifer L. Armentrout's books, then you'll enjoy Sarah J Mass books. So yeah, I ended up thinking, that I think I might end up enjoying her books. So A Court of Thorns and Roses is basically, because they've recently re genred it, because it was YA before, it was, but a lot of people were saying that it was mis um, genred or mislabeled. And now it's like, um, I think they want to put it into a new adult or adult fantasy and well romance fantasy i should say and yeah anyway the court of thorns and roses is about Feyre, and she is the provider of the family she ends up hunting one day and then she kills a wolf i think it's a wolf or something like that she kills an animal but the animal is not what it seems and so then a fae comes and takes her a way to be punished and that's basically it. And another book that I have bought in hopes that I will put it in a video challenge idea is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi and it is the 
first book in the Legacy of Orisha trilogy. Now I'll put a question mark into trilogy because there has been habits before in the YA genre where it starts off as a trilogy but then it extends into like a full-blown series. So that's why I put a question mark like is it gonna be a trilogy? I don't know. Um, I don't know too much about this one. I know it was quite popular. I think Lucasfilm, the ones, yeah, Lucasfilm, the one in charge, the ones in charge of Star Wars, basically. Well, I know Disney's in charge of Star Wars now, but they are adapting this book into a TV show, if memory serves me correctly. And it's just basically about African. Oh, is it African? Let me have a look here. I think it's African. Um, mythology, fantasy, something along those lines. Yeah, it's like a young adult, African inspired, like, well not African inspired, I think it is. Yeah, it's said to be quite filled with magic. I heard it's a quite a bit tropey and I'm not really familiar with YA tropes in fantasy. I've heard a lot about them on like booktube and book talk and bookstagram and stuff like that, but me personally, I wouldn't know and I wouldn't even know if I'd like them or whatever. So it's diverse, fantasy, magic, young adult fantasy, it's all I really need to know. And because of my obsession with dragons, the next book I have is basically like a Napoleonic, um, like historical fiction, alternate fantasy type of thing where dragons are in like the Napoleonic age or something like that. And it's called Temeraire by Naomi Novik. Yeah, Napoleonic Wars, I was right. So basically what it's about, it's actually a series, it's like an eight book series, ten, nine, nine book series. And all I know is that there's fighting dragons, it's kind of set in the Napoleonic Wars. And if you have a fighting dragon your chances of winning battles are going to be higher and I've been having my eye on this book series for a while and I'm quite intrigued to read it. And the next one would be The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Again another book I've had on my mind on my mind. Well yeah I have had it on my mind but also on my never-ending TBR for a while now. I don't know too much about this one like the synopsis about it has been quite vague from what I've heard other people saying. All I know is that it's Russian inspired folklore. It's got absolutely beautiful stunning writing in it and it's quite vivid and imaginative as well and honestly I'm just I'm happy with leaving that at that. If I'm being honest I like to not know too much about the books that I'm going to be going into just to keep that element of surprise open if you know what I mean and this is going to be like <laughs> a little bit too repetitive of what I'm about to say next but again it's one I've had my eye on for quite a while and I'm gonna like break the curse well it's not actually a curse but I'm gonna break it off with all this fantasy talk and the next one that I've got is Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantle. It's a trilogy and it's a very highly respected, um, a lot of critical appraise and it's a historical fiction trilogy. Like it's quite hard to describe it because it's, like I said, it's historical fiction. Thomas Cromwell trilogy. If you've heard about that or, or if you've read it you would know what I'm trying to say. Basically I think Henry VIII can't have kids or something like that. Yeah he has no heir. I think it's about... I, it's actually quite hard to describe it if I'm being honest. Like it talks about Henry on the eighth... Henry on the eighth. Henry VIII being on the throne and he doesn't have an heir to the throne. And just about a cardinal Cardinal Wolsey is his chief advisor and he is charged with securing the divorce the Pope refuses to grant. So I think Thomas Cromwell, this is where I think Thomas Cromwell comes into play because it says that he's like a ruthless man, like a political genius 
and a brutal blacksmith. He's quite an ambitious person as well. Like, it's hard to talk about it. The only way I'm going to be able to talk about it is if I read it. And I know I've had my eye on this book for years. And I love historical fiction and just, like, evil characters, morally great characters, just... I, I, I don't know, I'm just... I'm gonna have to read it and let you know. And Blood Song by Anthony Ryan would be the ninth book that I have bought this month. And it is the first book in the Raven's Shadow trilogy. I have a lot of trilogies. Actually, no, I don't. I, no, I have two, three trilogies. And the rest of them are just typical, like, five plus fantasy series, you know. So, Blood Song. I've had my eye on this for a long time, like most of the books on this list. And it's basically all heavily military fantasy. And it's in a similar vein to The Witcher, where you are trained to become a soldier from a very, very young age. And only the most the top of the school, the really hard, brutal people can survive, can graduate, basically. Basically, like, a war is coming and this, and the character... What's his name? Valen Al Sorna has to use those skills to fight in an upcoming war and to... Yeah, because as the world teeters on the edge of chaos and a new war, like, is, and a new war is brewing, he would need to use those skills to go to war, basically, and it's about that. It doesn't say about what the war is and how it came about. I'm going to have to read that to find out. I've had my eye on this for years and I was... I was so close so many times to buying this physically, but I want to try and save my shelf space for other books. Whether it be graphic novels or even I want to try and get more into indie publishing. Indie publishing. Like indie published books. And that's why I haven't bought it physically. But I tell you, I was so close so many times. It's unbelievable. I really don't need any more newer series because I want to get through the ones I have on my TBR the longest and the ones I have physically in my hands. But this one, this next one that I'm talking about just sounded so original and intriguing that I just couldn't help it but buy it. And that is All Systems Read by Martha Wells. It is the first book in the Murderbot series. I'm just going to keep this vague because her early, like, I think it's the first four books in the series, in the Murderbot series, are all novellas until you get to book five, then it turns into, like, a full-length novel. And basically, Murderbot, I think that's his name. Yeah, Murderbot. Um, so basically, he's been programmed to kill people but he doesn't want to do that all he wants to do is watch soap operas I'm just going to keep it at that it's a very popular sci-fi series and again like i've been i've been noticing something with this one and even Liza Locklamora and the name of the winds i have had my eyes on those books for so long like even this one i've had my eye on the Murderbot series for a while and if only I had bought it and read it to only know how popular it was going to become like I had no idea so I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't get to read those books earlier yeah them it's definitely like 10 plus books and with these ones will complete a very popular sci-fi series quite a popular influential sci-fi series I'm hoping I can get this in the short and I have the rest of the June books. Oh, look at them. They're so gorgeous. I went into the bookshop the other day. Well, actually, this is my most recent purchase, Dune Messiah. This is the second one in this series. I bought this today. And today is a Friday when I'm filming this. So that's the... What did I say it was again? The second one. It's quite a short one, so... Makes me happy. The other day, I think it was last week, I went into the bookshop as I usually do. And these next books caught my eye. I thought they were absolutely stunning. 
because I was originally going to get these through um, ebooks, but with these covers, I just couldn't resist. So we have the third one, Children of Dune. We have God Emperor of Dune. I've heard a lot of people say it gets really good after the fourth one, and this being the fourth one. Heretics of Dune. This is the fifth novel. And the last one, Chapter House Dune as well. I'll just, can you see why I love these covers? They're absolutely stunning. I want to, um, like, I want to do an Instagram post putting it on there so that if you didn't get a chance to see it properly, that you can see it properly on my Instagram. I have not done that yet. I might do a bit of a stationary haul with you as well. And uh, I didn't realize how many, like, I'll just show you. Like, I bought so many blue things today. I'm hoping you can see that, like, it's ridiculous how many, like, I didn't even go in with the intent of buying blue things. I just did. It's just something that happened. First one is a hands-off phone stand. It was half price and like, I don't know when I'm going to use it. I don't even know if I will end up using it, but I thought it looked pretty cool and you just move it like that. It's like collapsible and you could just fold it like that. And like I've, okay, I've already opened up these boxes and stuff like with the phone stand and with this one I'm about to show you. I just couldn't help myself and I just opened it up. And this one was an absolute cow and a half to put back in. And I've had my eye on this for a while. I thought was like kind of hesitant to buy it, but I just thought, hey, why not? And I got myself a micro light box. Do I really want to take them out? No, because it was really hard to put back in. I've been after something like this to do for my Instagram posts. I really want to get back into doing them. I really miss doing them. And I had ideas of how I could use this into my Instagram posts. So that's that. And I am a big notebook person. I, oh, I love notebooks. I have too many of them and I don't care. And I have this really beautiful notebook, I think. What is it? It's an A5 journal. And I use journaling as like a form of therapy, like if there's anything on my mind, I will write it down so it's not weighing on my brain and I'm, and I'm not thinking about it things constantly. And it's been such a great way. It's been helping me a lot. Like I've nearly finished the one I've already got and I just saw this one and knew I had to have it. Okay, that's about it for this book haul slash stationery haul. Like I said, a lot of these things were on special, so I thought why not? Anyway, if you like this video, leave a like and make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you ended up buying and what what was your favourite thing about this video. I know mine was definitely these Dune books. I just love these covers so much. So gorgeous. And it, like these, these books caught my eye. They really did. And I'm really excited to get into it. And, and just see how it finishes off. Yeah, I think that's about all I have to say. And let me know if you bought anything yourself in February. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.